Okay. I promise this is the last one. And at the risk of beating a dead horse, I believe as the saying goes, uh, I've changed all of these tubes. This one is a uh, one of these uh, 5751s. This is something out of a con organ, the 12AU7. Uh, the 12BH7 is, ouch, it's hot too, is uh, a GE instead of the RCA. And here's the other uh, 5751. Some really industrial looking guys, if you see them in there. And I left the output tubes in the same for no particular reason. But I'm going to show you, it's pretty amazing how this thing performs the 12AX7 and then we'll put a uh, fancy dandy Amperex 12AT7 in there. Yeah these are all Primo tubes there's no doubt about that. But let's get over here. Okay let's first of all turn off some glare and I've got it set up start. We're going to be running it at exactly the same power 17.5 fraction of a, a watt more even 20 to Hertz to 30 kilohertz 10 points per division there it is coming out 0.3 see the 0.3 right there the 20 Hertz I mean it does well I'm splitting hairs and having fun <clears throat> but uh, oh by the way while it's running I will tell you that uh, other data I got for it was the uh, signal to noise ratio is actually only 76 dB. I'm a little disappointed, disappointed at that. 76 dB, they claim 90. And I know uh, some of my amps do 90. I don't know quite why not. The bulb temperature of the uh, output tubes is 270 degrees. That's good. That's not terribly hot. And it uh, clips at uh, about 1% THD at 51.4 watts, as best I can measure it. It does have a slightly different type of uh, distortion. It doesn't clip flat. It doesn't flat top. Uh, really classic. Well, let's watch this right now. Okay, see that? I mean, this is every time. Every time. I mean, it makes its number right here. Half percent at 20 kilohertz. At uh, the 25 kilohertz, it's 0.62. Okay, I'm going to torture you through the whole process here. It's a bit dark in here. Let's turn this on. I'm just going to swap this one which is uh, fairly hot. It's, it's not, it's not uh, tube specific as far as a type goes. It is tube specific as far as the uh, number goes. Well, it is type specific, but not brand or anything like that. Okay, turn it back on. This is that uh, little nice uh, Amperex 12A T7. It's warming up. Just all we gotta do is wait till that one, uh, that's a uh, current, that's line current. All we gotta do is wait till it comes back up. Just gotta turn that off. Mostly because it causes uh, noise. That's electrical noise. Okay, I'm assuming it's warmed up now. Here we go. Trace two. Watch it starting out. See, it's actually a little bit below the blue trace. Same power, see 17.5 volts. No, I believe in the uh, the high gain tubes. I've, I've got nothing against any kind of tube, 
but uh, and I'm not suggesting that everybody with an MC40 or an MC240 go out and do this do it at your own risk but um, I get considerable uh, better performance little anomalies like that are program anomalies that that's, has really nothing to do with the amplifier they can occur anywhere at any time and uh, with a 12 AX7 or a 5751 it does meet its spec here probably hear it singing there but with just a little bit lower gain tube and the upgrade to um, I can't remember the name that uh, it was described as but look at that I mean that's different that's significantly different that's different by uh, uh, 0.2 percent and even even these little jags right there anomalies should be a nice smooth curve but up to that point there you go it is what it is can't argue with it beautiful little lamp really is very pleased with it but I just had to show you that uh, um, it just seems to make a difference there uh, what I consider a significant difference and then the upgrade from the um, from the older style to the newer style of the uh, actually they were the uh, plate load resistors back here on on this guy right here made quite a nice difference there you go